Hello, it's Sarah. And I've been creating ATCs, you guys. I got a message on Instant Messenger from Lisa Dawson. She's the owner of your ATC store. I've made videos sharing the stuff that I've made from her previously. And then uh, Patricia Herrera, I guess, saw one of those videos and mentioned that she'd been recommended to me to Lisa's store by me so Lisa messaged me and she said uh, she wanted to send me a couple of ATC's um, kits right so you what you do is you go and you order kits and I've ordered lots of these before um, here's she sent me the April um, 2018 kit for April I got two of I already made them so see that's why I'm feeling I got two of these Vogue ones and two of the free with purchase kits these are called the cowgirl kits I'm pretty sure and I've already made a couple of them I'm going to show you in a sec so they also have tons of other supplies like this I've ordered I ordered these a hundred sleeves you know like so first of all, an ATC, for those of you who don't know, and I'm assuming everyone knows, but <laughs> um, artist trading card. They're basically the size of a playing card. They're two and a half by three and a half, and anything goes. The only thing is you're meant, they're meant to be traded. They're meant to be, you know, swapped between collectors. And I just make them, and generally I keep mine. I am, I'm a hoarder. I have, I have this box here that I, um made it was a class that I took an ATC box but these are all kits that I created from Lisa's store so as you can see and I think I've filmed I filmed most of these and they may be they may go back as far as four three or four years ago now but um, you can also create ATCs you can paint them so I mean I had just done a couple videos of of the painted ATCs I did my dotting on them I did a couple of um, Tracy Moreau's patterns. As long as they're two and a half by three and a half, I've made them from polymer clay. I've you can do anything. It's a little piece of art in a tiny little space, so it's not really overwhelming. Those of you who are new to crafting in general, paper crafts, it's a great way to start. And Lisa, I have to say, and I, I messaged her this that the the kits make it so easy because everything I mean literally I'm gonna show you what I created uh, I'm gonna show you the cowgirl kit I'm gonna open it up and show you what you get and then I'll show you what I created with that kit so this is it they come in these little plastic sleeves and unbelievable what she puts in here now the other thing guys is these are like two bucks at the most so they're like from a buck and a quarter to two bucks I don't know she also has tons of other that's what I started to say other supplies like I got these wings um, and I, I told you I got those sleeves um, but I've gotten collage papers she has all types of stuff so you should just go check it out I'll put the link in the um, description box so look okay I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in a little bit all right so this is the cowgirl kit you get a little piece of twine a little piece I think this is I forget what this is called it's just a bigger piece of twine what is this like a um you know a band a bandeau scarf or whatever I can't think of the name of it sequins a hat a cowboy hat a boot sequin and look at the sentiments she even gives you a sentiment boots class and a little sass I love it these three girls, see, I was so torn when I made mine because these were so sassy, especially her. I, I didn't end up using her. Um, a nice picture of a cowgirl on a horse. Tons of papers. Look at all these papers. A horse playing card. Now, this is vintage. This is, it looks vintage to me. Um, so, so much, this is like a leather, faux leather, and then a bunch of other cowboy stuff. Just some... This looks like leather color to me. Um, this one's a, I used this, so I'm going to show you, and a sleeve. But generally she'll send you, so I got one, two, three sequins and a charm. 
a cowboy hat charm and I didn't use this in mine either so I have a I have a lot of other ideas it's it's a little overwhelming how much you get and then all these little trim papers that just tie in together so let me set these oh and another little piece of wood so she got you this is like a barn kind of paper but it's two-sided so you could even fussy cut if you saw something on this side that you liked you could fussy cut that out and this type of wood so let me just scooch that over and here's what I made so this was the main one boots class and a little sass and I just put her in and put a boot so I kept this one's kind of simple let me come out um, I used the leather paper I backed the pictures and the sentiment with a little bit of that kind of leather color paper I cut the fabric in half so I cut it in half and used it on both sides top and bottom I cut the that piece of twine in half and used that as my trim and then just glued down the boot and the cowboy hat so that's one and then this was the other one I could not resist this horse he was so beautiful so see they're not going to be identical the kits but they're pretty darn close I don't know how she does it I'm telling you she's awesome so see obviously and this was and I can't show you but it was it was an ace of um I think diamonds because I do remember it being red anywho so you just you know I'm sure in a deck of cards they're not going to all be identical but they're pretty darn close and so I just used on this one I used my own trims because I had I cut him out and I couldn't not use them um, and I wanted to use the girls so I used two of the girls and they're popped up I just used the uh, 3M I guess it's called and I put I just chose one of my big chat words by Tim Holtz and put beauty but there's a little I used a little brad there and just put the rope around the horse and then this is some leather trim that I got at Hobby Lobby that I was just dying to use and it just played right into it but I mean I still have a ton now my desk is full of stuff like I still have all this stuff left that I could have used the barn I could have just you know or or um, this one I could have flipped it over and used part of that you know but I just really I wanted to use that because I just get down all my I usually have a little bin like this let me go back up I usually keep a little bin near me with just bits and pieces of different things like here's an ATC kit that I did already or actually I don't know if that one's done yet um, I have a couple that I haven't done yet so anyway I just keep little different things in here that you might be able to pull to use on an ATC um, all of your little um, pearl trims all types of stuff so let me show you some more stuff that I made so she also sent me that Vogue <coughs> excuse me this is the Vogue kit and I want to show you what comes in here so much stuff so if you're new to ATC's no worries you have you don't have to have any art supplies basically just some glue you're gonna need glue and you can create a little piece of art and actually these I would consider collage and paper crafting so um, I love it it's one of my favorite things to do so these two papers have they're double-sided so I mean honestly if you wanted to fussy cut out bits and pieces of this paper you still have plenty of other paper paper to use for your backing you always get a sleeve you get a couple of images generally yeah look so you get this bigger image and a smaller image this looks like the cover of a, a pattern um, like a antique pattern it says Vogue a sewing machine charm a button I think I forget what this is called but it's like a I don't know some type of a sewing pin cool little thing a little piece of fabric it's a little folded but it's like a little lace piece of fabric and then different backing see I use these for backings a lot of times so I'll show you what I do and this is the ATC that I made. I'll zoom in. I love it so much. 
This one I really loved. I don't know if it's the colors. Obviously, you're going to be attracted to, and that's why she has such a big selection. But then the thing is, I might not have chosen to do the, the cowgirl one, but I still love it so much, and I know someone I could send these to who would really appreciate them. So, um, anywho, this is the one that I created. So the first thing I do generally is open the kit and lay it out and see what I have. But see, let's see what I did. So I backed the image with some pink paper and I backed this little image and the word with the blue paper. I also took a piece of the blue paper and used it across the top to kind of help make this fabric pop. I just pinned the pin to the fabric and glued it down. So that's not going anywhere. I took a piece of, well, it was the little piece of twine from the other kit. Actually, this was what I, I had this in my stash. I don't want to lie. I, I just made a bow on the button and stuck it there. I have, see, look, it moves. I have the charm there. I put a little piece of a ruler. Now, it takes a minute. So I want to show you my process. I'll show you my process with this one. So let me zoom up a little bit. So basically what I do is, I, so I would take the image and just cut it down right away. I'm just going to trim it up to that black edging there of the, of the photo. Oh, Kiwi's with me. Hi, Kiwi. And do the same thing to the other little image. And then right away I knew that I wanted to pop her up. Like, usually I do pop something up on my ATCs. I can show you a couple more before I go that I've created um, with her kits. Vogue, I would cut it down. So, and I do it just by eyeballing it, but you want to just, I like to keep, because you're only working with a two and a half by three and a half inch surface, you kind of need to keep things small. And you don't have to back these. That's just my way. I, I do it like that. Honestly, we could all get these, this kit, this one kit, and all of our ATCs would look different. That's what's so amazing. So then I would look at all the different papers. So I know that I need a two and a half by three and a half. I'm assuming this is two and a half by three and a half. Yeah. So this could be my back right here. I could use this. Everything would show up just great on there. All right. You have your this. You have your button and your pin. So those are your main image type things, right? But then look at all this other stuff you have. You have to put a piece of fabric in there. Um, what else do we have? I mean, it's, a, a, it's about sewing. So I just thought this really, you know, you have to put a piece of ruler in there. I, I don't know. I almost went with this hot pink color to just add, and I mean, I still could have like up here, but I just wanted to play with the light blue in threes. Sometimes my eye just tells me what to do, um, and that's okay. That's why she gives you so many options because not everyone's going to see the same things I see. Now look, there's the dark pink here, so if I would have used this as my background, the dark pink, see she thinks of everything. Honestly, I it's amazing to me. The dark pink would have played, and then you could have used this piece of blue ruler with that one, you know, and then put your images on there. So that's what I normally do. I just lay everything out, get an idea for what I have, and then start to just play and put it together. So I actually chose the other side of this. So, I mean, she puts the same thing in every kit. I'm trying to see if like there's anything different. There's nothing different. It's a different color button. That's like the main difference. So, and on the website, it explains that, I mean, they can't be identical because I'm guessing she basically has a, you know, a 12 by 12 piece of paper that has this background on it. And then, so you're not going to get the exact same things on the back, you know? I mean, so some people would be able to cut out this or part of this butterfly. You know, I could fussy cut this butterfly out and put it on there. I mean, it's whatever you think is good. So this is just a little stitching sampler sheet, right? Like, so you were using your sewing machine and you just went down and, and got a bunch of samples. That's what I ended up using for my background. And then I used these two 
textured papers as like backing for the main focal images. And I did ink the edges, so use your own creative way, like the what you like about things. But because this was vintage, kind of antique-y, I, I decided to ink it. And then I back everything with a, a piece of, this is actually a, a, a file folder, just to give it some substance. Because, I mean, even if you, if I were layering a bunch of these papers, it does get more structure to it. But, I mean, just because that's just the way I do. All right, so let me just show you a couple of the other um, kits that I've made before. But guys, it's too fun, honestly. And like, you can, oop, just dropped something, my little pin. You can easily, you spend $10 in a second, but you come away with so much goodness. All right, so I wanted to show you, I have so much on my desk. Um, I, I have other, two other sewing ones that I did. Look at this, and I don't know what they're called, and I should have written it on the back because I didn't know I would be doing this video eventually. But on the back of this one, I wrote the date, um, your ATC store, and Vogue, just because, just so I kind of know what it was. But uh, these are other ones, and I'm, I'm thinking I took some things from my stash, but because you can make maybe three actual ATC cards with the stuff that she puts in the kits. Um, if you just add a few of your own bits and bobs, you know what I mean? So she'll give you, a, like definitely you're making one for sure. I would say you could definitely make two actually because as you can see, if I would have used the papers from the kit to do this horse one, everything from this was in the kit. So you definitely can make two and I didn't even use the, um, the charm and all that stuff. So anyway... These three kind of could go together. Aren't they amazing? So I've made, uh, and look, see the pin? Now I might have added other, like the snap I think she put in there. There's a little snap here. Um, so fun, Vogue. So these three are a little set. Look at the little scissors. Now these are buttons. I might have pulled these from my stash because I have little, these are buttons from um, Dress It Up. <coughs> But what else? I have a bunch of beach ones too. These are beach. Beachy, beachy, beachy. I have another beach one. I don't know where it is. Oh, here it is. So I just want to look at these and um, this says keep coming. So let me think. I definitely added this, but I think everything from this is was in the kit. And then I add stickles. So because it's beachy, I, I don't know, and she's a little retro beauty. I put, I put stickles around. There's a little beach ball. Oh, you know what else I got in that kit were these little buttons. These are paper. There was a little piece of paper. I didn't see it in this one. I'm sure here. Oh, I'm sure it was in there. And I cut these out and I was going to use glossy accents to like make them shiny, but I just never used them. Um, this one, I think everything in here, this looks like my ribbon. I probably use that. But when you put stickles, look, I used orange stickles to, like, do that. All right, let's see this one. Then, you know, you can get crazy. I actually, when I cut out my horse, I just used a die um, and traced it around it. I didn't actually die cut it. But you can do, I've, I wanted to show you my, I don't want to keep you that long, but I, this one, the Wizard of Oz one, I actually embossed the yellow paper with a brick pattern. So it's the yellow brick road, and I put a verse, she put a little paper page, a page from the book in there, um, and then all the images, and look, a little witch um, charm, and then the ruby slippers, so, I mean, come on, she's so good at what she puts, and then I have Little Red Riding Hood, and there's another book page. And I, I just love them. They're super simple. When she, she gets you started with so much stuff. OMG, look at this one. This one's Christmas. Home for the holidays. So it's a little house, but you can open the door. And I mean, I made it like this, so I don't know. I have to. And there's Santa. <laughs> so it makes me happy. They really, really make me happy. Um, so I want you guys to 
head on over to your ATC store. They have all, usually it goes by month. So every month she'll have a new crop of, of uh, kits, but there's tons of old kits on there. There's kits from, you know, I, ha I think I have one out here that was from 20, where did I put it? Anyway, tw 2011. Anyway, I, I can't find anything now. I have too much stuff on my desk. So this is the free with purchase, the cowgirl kit, right? And then I got the Vogue kit. I have a big Easter kit I'm going to make. I think I'll make this later today, and maybe I'll film the process, all right? So she sent me. This is the April 2018 kit. I can see a bunny in there. OMG, there's a... Oh, look at all the different ribbons. OMG, okay. All right, you guys. So I'll put the link in the description box, and thanks for watching.